Hello everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of the Norse Inquisition. I'm joined by Hey Abbott, say hello. Hello. And uh, yeah, we've been wrapping up with some wars and watching rebels spread across China. Oh, it's is a it beautiful glorious? Thing. It's, a, it's, those, a, it's a wonderful uh, thing. I don't think Glorious explains it. Dude, I just discovered a whole bunch of stuff. And I get a... Bur Yat Yachty wants a alliance. You know what? I'll I'll do it. You need one <clears> at this <throat> point. With the help I gave you, ugh. Yeah, you you need a better friend. Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> I took the full brunt of that attack. Cause he had well. Dian Joe, he had uh, Hai Shi, all coming after me. Damn it. You just Yaren's so happened to be in destroyed. the way. I'm gonna stop supporting these rebels. Get some money back per month. Besides, I need to fabricate more claims. Yay! I can get my first technology military tech four all year. Oh. Uh, I have like another year, almost six months. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Shun separatists aren't aren't doing so bad. I hate to do it, but I'm gonna be fighting you for trade in Hangzhou. That's fine. Do your worst, man. Okay. Uh, dude, Meng only has 15,000 troops right now. I've got 7,000 troops and uh, 494 manpower. Oh man, we got we got five years. <clears throat> five glorious years. And only G and Joe is in the alliance that makes me happy see so you won't take as much of a brunt this time yeah i'm still gonna take it because i'm right in the middle oh crap they're they're starting to de-siege the the rebels no Trying to find where they are. I can. They're yeah, they're shot. uh Yeah. I'm trying to find the rebels though. Maybe they're running around. Yeah, I don't think they're anywhere. Over there. I'm at sixty five with Diviet and uh Than Shing. Below us? Mm-hmm. I'm going to try and get them allied with me, and then next time I'll initiate the war, and I'm hoping I can bring three people into the war. I'll hope right along with you, my friend. I mean, it wasn't like we struggled with Ming, necessarily. Well, it was just the, the front. Yeah, it looks like you're still you still have fifty five percent of the trade in uh, Hangzhou. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. I got. I'm 15%. actually I'm actually making more money by going to Canton. Yeah, that's because Canton and stuff is, has some good trade. You better believe it. This missionary, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Sean. It's good to see you. <laughs> Are they at war? Oh, no. 
No. They oh, they they have a out. truce. They have a truce with them. Okay. Yeah. So in EU three, once the nation popped out like that, they immediately went to war with the person that they broke off from. Alliance from Yaren. Are you allied with Yaren? Yep. Okay. And I am making a marketplace in Beijing. Ooh, Hunan can give me 7.4 increase. So you're going to go after Shun? Oh no, I'm going to... Well, I was going to go and play nice with them. Yeah, if they're blocking your, your path westward. That's okay. Oh man. <clears throat> we still got to deal with some uh, Ming over here. Psh, Ming, sh Ming, but man. That should help out with uh, their manpower and their troop count. Dude, Ming is like done right now. They don't have a whole lot left. They still have a force limit of 39. Yeah, but they don't know how to use them. <laughs> Be interesting to see what they do, though. I won't argue that. Let's see. Okay, that's my next target. Yeah. And then I'll go south. Oh man, I'm just looking at all the money provinces right now saying, oh yeah, I'll go there. You have Quan uh, Quanjo right here. And then of course you got Canton and Macau. No, yeah, but those Canton guys can is wait. the big one. Macau is the kind of crappy one. Wen Chao is another Wai Chao. God damn. Yeah, I was probably gonna go Wu Chang. Like Wu Chang, Nan Chang, and Chang Sha. All the Changs in that area right there. And oh, then yeah. uh Shang it up. I think like Lang Zhong is another one if I'm not mistaken. That's pretty rich. So I think like in between there, there was something along the lines of like maybe 18 to 20 base tax, which I, I can take that. Canton itself is 12. Take uh, Y Chow. Yeah, but Canton, Canton is a, Canton is an important center of trade, so or a trade center, I guess. Oh, it's also the capital of Ming. Yeah, so that's gonna be a little bit of a. A little bit of a stretch trying to grab that one. I got and, to ninety percent uh, with uh, both of those, uh, both Diviet and Lanshing. I'm gonna see about making an alliance with them, cause they will help us. Yeah, we. I mean, if we can get allies with them, then we basically surround Ming. Yeah. I can't wait to exact my revenge on India. It's gonna be a little while to get over there, but I'm I'm down for it. Uh, oh, I'm going Wenchu to Norse. I'm going Easter, and I'm going after G and Joe. They're gonna die. But yeah, me. Oh man, this is so great. I can exact my revenge right now just by. Slaughtering Ming. You know, I do notice something. You got the a lot better spot than I did when you, it comes to base stacks. Yeah. That is true. 
Well, I wasn't even planning to be originally this large. And then we got to talking and I was like, yeah, I'll take some more provinces. It couldn't hurt, right? <laughs> oh, I'm 200 with you. All right, so we're going to be nice to Shun. I think we should. For now. For now, of course. We'll conquer it. It's still part of Ming. Or it was part of Ming. I was going to say, man, you, you have like two provinces to, to pick from. It's like Ningxia and Aksa. But uh, one of those is Shin. I mean, your your whole real path is Shun. Yeah. The, the question is, though, are you going to go through the mountains? Or are you going to go around the mountains? Like up through Oirat and Uzbek? Or are you going to try and cut south to the Timurids? Um, I was thinking through Oirat. It's going to be tough, though. I don't you, know. Uzbek I mean, is big over there. Yeah, but... And winter is going to suck. The winter is coming. <laughs> it really is. It's November. So, you know. It's going to be here before you know it. Whoa. I zoom, oh, yeah. Zoomception right there. That was way too far in. Oh, I almost think that I should have taken the recovery manpower mission. I did convert Wenchu to Norse, though. These guys miss. Nice. Yeah, they don't like me. Might as well. Or what's my army composition? Ten and four. Ten and four. Like, oh, nice. What am I gonna do? There we go. Get some buildings. Yeah, I'm doing the trade one. Oh, I yeah, but I mean, you can only uh, you can only have so many. Um. Uh, what's it called? You can only have so many buildings in a province now. Oh yeah, that's true. I think they also took some of the buildings off. Ooh, that was... Uh... Well, you would know that better than me. I've only been playing this for a little while now. I was used to death and taxes, so you could build a million things in death and taxes on EU3. God, they had buildings for days. One more month and I could build another unit. Oh man, I'm getting all sorts of stuff. Okay, so that, yeah, okay, okay. Now, Damn where it. would this help out the most? Ooh, 915. Um, uh, yeah. Jeez, right where it's 15. Of course. The supply limit on Jianying is 13. Are you losing anything for having 15 there? No. Well, hold on. Nope. All my soldiers are living health healthy, healthily. I probably shouldn't have made those troops, but nah. We have so long. I'm still well under my 
Oh. <laughs> and I speak too soon. Oh, <coughs> uh, yeah. No, I'm doing okay. These southern provinces aren't aren't the best, but uh, they're not they're not bad by any means. I think most of them are like 15 forest limit. I think there's one in there that's 14. 13. Oh, some of these guys in the north are pretty bad too. That I'm looking at. Oh no, that's the weight. I uh, gotta look at the supply limit. I wish you could see how old your general is. Nah. Oh yeah. Just a little while longer and I'll have a uh, administrative tech four. Nice. Put down some temples. Yeah, that will be good. I feel like the build the buildings are pretty um, powerful in this game. Yeah, I think it's the new patch that did that. So I have a single galley here. I'm almost tempted to throw it away, but I know I'm gonna I'm gonna want a military or a navy sometime. Oh man, the truce is for real. Three more years. Let's see what we can do. Ah, oh, they won't accept it. Why won't you accept it? Not the same religion. Neutral editor, distance between borders, and trust. Oh, we have a bad opinion of them. Well, shit. What the hell? <laughs> Surprised at the uh, the peace over in this region. Is anybody in Japan at war? Yeah, I got a couple wars in Japan. There's always wars in Japan, all over the place. India, maybe? No, India. Oh, there peaceful. we go. He is very peaceful. Ah, uh, temples. Vagina Gar is taking on a one province miner. I don't know how well that's going to go for him. Why is everybody so peaceful? Oh. Oh, Tuscany and Mantua are taking on, like, France and 
like a whole chunk of Europe. Wow, look at England. I got that coast uh, on France. Yeah, I, I guess they, they won them. the. I guess they won the Hundred Year War because they kept all their land. I thought they made it to where it was really, really hard to. If you play it right, like on the player, you can do some interesting stuff to win. And then Serbia popped up. That's new. I haven't seen that much of them. <laughs> and then Scotland has been taken over. A temple in Beijing that'll give me an extra 0. 0.51 ducats per turn or per month, not turn. Nice. Could always use that extra money. Oh yeah. Uh, my uh, my audio just crashed on me. That was not good. That sucks. Indeed, it does. Indeed, it does. So, like, right in the middle of my audio, I think I'm going to have this very loud honk. It's like, hey, your stuff is horrible. Oh, All right. <clears throat> Chung Sha, can I even... Can I even fabricate? fabricate? I can. Let's see. Are you fabricating on Ming? What's what's going on up there? Got a job to do, sir. Okay, okay. Calm down. No! I will not calm down. I also kind of want to fabricate on Korchin. Because... Depending on their military, I may go to war with them right now. <laughs> they got a total of 12,000. Never mind. Uh, but they're allied bit. with Korea and Jianzhou and Cardell, wherever the hell Cardell is. Damn it. Oh, there's Cardell. Cardell is right by Orat. How are they alive? <laughs> I don't know. They may have put, been popped out by the Ming and Oirat um, war. It's possible. They're uh, allied with them, and, uh, you know, Korchin and Kam. Well, the thing is, is I would bring in Bariati and uh, Yeren into the war. You em why did you ally Briati? I don't know. Why not? Look at them. They're not worthy of you. They're not that small. They're what? Um, five, um, yeah. five provinces? Six? Yeah, but they have a stack of 11. That'll help with uh, G and Joe. Oh, I guess so. I don't know. They're a little close to Siberia for me. I like it down here in the south where it's warmer, you know? Warm? Yeah, I do too, <laughs> but... I guess we're technically... Well, no, we're on, you know, we're on the same uh, southerly parallel there. I mean, we're essentially the Saharan desert of the east. 
And you're like the... Oh, the cool thing is... Oh. That's the uh, end of the episode. <laughs> the cool thing is that's the end of the episode. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. What they what they did is they took off the tech cost to build a building. So you oh, no nice. longer have to spend 10 per building. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, I guess oh, it's shit. useful. Oh. Alrighty. And we're going to have to end the episode here. Oh. Jeez. Well, we're only two years away from imminent war, so hopefully we don't keep them waiting long. I don't know. If I have to build up my troops, and then I have to build up some manpower. Or I'm not going to be much help. Eh. Troops, manpower, whatever. We don't have to go to war right away. It is what it is. We'll uh, yeah. We'll we'll time it accordingly. But um, you know, who knows what's going to happen? It's kind of unfortunate. Well, I shouldn't say unfortunate. At least Ming's going to give us a challenge. Like last game we played, they just completely fell apart within the first couple of years. <laughs> yeah, they did. It was like the first hour they had rebellions all over their country. God and here, at least, the only thing is Shun t got taken off. And that's because we were distracting them and Shun just, the rebels took a whole lot of land up north. Yeah, not the best land to take, but land nonetheless. Hey, it's there's a Xi'an is a eight uh, eight tax eight base production. Han Hanjo is for. Let's see what other ones. I thought there was another one. Lanjo is six six. So there's some decent territory there. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Alrighty. Anyways, this is where we're going to leave you guys. We'll see you next time. Oh, yeah.